What's up guys, welcome back to another video, this is Xenio Salamus and I'm bringing you day 5 of the 6 days PPL workout program and we are almost done with this program as I told you we are doing 6 days, this is for intermediate to advanced lifters and for this workout I'm also going to have the exercises on the screen and as you can see we are doing 6 exercises, one of them is supersets and this workout should take you 35 to 45 minutes, personally it took me 37 minutes to complete it. So before we start the commentary, make sure you also follow me on my Instagram at Xenios Hralambus. This is where I upload every single day my meals of the day. Sometimes I upload my workouts, sometimes I upload a lot of useful motivation and posts. So make sure that you also follow me there. So with this workout, we are starting completely this pull workout. And this time I'm going to choose the Vim bar pull downs. And this time we are going for 8 repetitions, so I like to stick with most of the exercises with 8 repetitions on this workout program because at the 8 rep range you will see the most muscle growth. Although on some exercises which they require much more effort, you are going to see me doing 5 repetitions which I'm also going to explain to you later on why I do this. So the Vim bar pull downs is a super good exercise to engage the lats and uh, I highly recommend you to add it in your workout program if you don't have it yet because you are going to get some awesome results with your back. Second exercise is the weighted pull ups which I'm sure you've seen me doing this before. This time I'm changing my grip, I'm not on the wide grip, I'm, as you can see I'm on the lower grip of the bar which is a bit easier to do the weighted pull ups and that's because I like to have the dumbbell in my legs, I don't like to use those weighted belts, uh, I think they are a waste of time to be honest, I like to do my workouts super fast so I like to use the dumbbell which is super easy to do it. And as you can see, I'm doing five repetitions for this exercise because it's a super hard exercise. When I'm going extremely heavy, I try to stick with five repetitions, which the five rep range is very beneficial if you want to gain strength. So if you want to go for muscle growth, then go for eight reps. If you want to focus more on strength, then I'd advise you to go for five repetitions because you will see much better results. For the following exercise, I'm doing a super set, which is a killer killer superset which I highly recommend you to add it in your workout program so I'm going with the cable rows weighted uh, this is almost 100 kilos if I'm not mistaken and then I'm going for single dumbbell rows for five repetitions because I'm almost dead from the previous exercise and again I'm trying to engage as, as much as possible my lats so I target my back perfectly using this exercise. Now for the first exercise which is the cable rows, I recommend you to stick your chest up like I do in this video. I don't try not to swing, this is the biggest mistake that most people do, they swing a lot when they do this exercise and uh, then I try to use my back, I try to minimize the activation of my biceps because you don't want to use the biceps when you do this exercise and you just try to engage the lats and it's the same when we do the dumbbell rows, make sure again that when you do the dumbbell rows you try to engage the lats, this is a mistake that a lot of people do, they are not focused on the targeted muscle group. I mentioned many times that one of the principles of the progressive overload is you to practice mind muscle connection so every time I do the exercises I put my mind where my the working muscle is as simple as that now for the final exercise for the back workout or the pull then I'm using the cable pull downs again this is an exercise that you need to careful how you do this because the mistake that most people do with this exercise they are trying to engage more the triceps i'm not really using my triceps believe it or not you can see from this clip that the muscle that gets the most engagement is of course the back you can see from the dissentric movement how i try to squeeze my back at the end of the movement so make sure that you don't use the triceps as you can see my hands are almost fully straight I don't use my triceps at all I always shout to my clients when they do this exercise because you need to engage the lats then as soon as I finish my back I continue on with biceps so I'm starting with a very classic 
exercise which is then dumbbell curls and I'm going for eight repetitions for each hand and for the dumbbell curls the biggest mistake that most people do with this exercise which you will see in a few seconds when I show you the slow motion video you will see that I'm not raising my elbows up so you can see this very well I don't use my elbows when I do biceps a lot of people for some reason because they are going extremely heavy weights they use the elbows and then they are trying to use their body to lift the weights up no 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 you need to use them biceps and again you need to make sure that your mind is completely focused on the working muscle which this time for this exercise is the biceps so again another shot that is showing you again that I'm using the biceps and I'm also focusing on the negative movement of the exercise something that a lot of people they skip when they do dumbbell curls now for the final exercise I'm finishing the biceps with the cable curls again for eight repetitions as you can see my elbows are stick to my body I don't use my elbows when I do biceps I try to focus fully on the biceps that's where my mind is and again I focus on both decentric and the eccentric of the movement and this is how I get the maximum benefits or muscle growth when I do biceps so that's it for this video guys make sure that you also check my free training where I show you the more advanced techniques that I teach only to my clients so I'm going to post the link right now in the screen so make sure that you register for this free training because you are going to learn a lot of useful stuff when it comes to nutrition workouts and mindset those are the advanced techniques that I also teach to my clients and I'm going to see you again on the next video. Have an amazing day.